Tisha B'Av is the hardest day of the Jewish year. The reason for that is that we recall so many tragedies that befell the Jewish people, from the destruction of the first temple in the year 586 BCE, to destruction of the second temple, the fall of Beitar, the expulsions from Spain and from England, the uh, start of World War I, to, uh, to, uh, to modern terror, terror attacks. Everything is recorded and reflected on, on Tisha B'Av. And it's a very sad day and very emotional day. And you think to yourself when you're reading this, why on earth did this happen? And sometimes you turn to your parents and say, why did you make me born? Why was I born Jewish? Seriously, with, uh, with all this negativity and all this sadness. And this question I've had ever since I've started being, uh, being involved with, uh, with Judaism. And it's a question that I have to refer, reflect on every single year. And when I read through the stories, one thing strikes me. When the Jews, were, Jews of the past were given a choice, convert or die, the response of, these, of, of our ancestors was, I'd rather die than give up on my Judaism. And this raises a question. What would I do in the same situation? Fortunately, I live in a country and I live in a world where this is only an academic question. But what would I do in this situation? And I think to myself, what was the passion, the fire that these Jews had for Judaism that meant that they would give up their lives rather than give up on their religion? And this question is one that fuels me and inspires me on Tisha B'Av. And, and the day after Tisha B'Av, when I put on my tefillin and I say the Shema, I think about those Jews. I'm connected to them. I'm a descendant of them. I am here because of them. And my question that I have to ask myself is where is my passion? Where is the fire of Judaism that should be burning in my heart that burnt in theirs? Tisha B'Av, for me, lights, lights the spark that becomes a flame by the time we hit Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Much to think about.